What's good, YouTube? This is my LeBron 13 Nike ID Area 72 edition. As you can see, there's my LeBron 10 Area 72s. What's up, Peanut? Getting some air time? Um, the LeBron 13s. Peanut, come on. You like them? Which one do you like better? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Let me get back to the video. On the LeBron 13s for the All-Star Nike ID Edition, you were able to put the Galaxy print on the inside, and it's the same as a Galaxy print on the 10s. I'll show you right now. That crazy. There's that lion in Galaxy. I'm gonna set the camera up so you can get a little side view. As you can see, they're not spot on with the colors and everything, but to me, it was enough to, I, I just, I had to have that pair since I already had these. A lot of people didn't like these when they came out. It was a love and hate relationship, but I loved them and I had to have them. So if you're wondering about Nike IDs and how they fit, I go true to size in the 13s. If your foot's wide, you might have a little trouble around this area, but you might you could go up a half size. But if you have like a regular width foot, and I mean, that's my foot. So if your foot's kind of like that, you should be fine true to size. And on the LeBron 10s, if you don't own a pair, you absolutely have to go up at least a half size, regardless of how your foot is. Just this model in general ran small. Oh well, yeah, this is my video on the LeBron 13s and 10s. Until next time, LeBron James.